Hi everyone, I'm Lab Loy Chung from National Center for Research on Earthquake Engineering and from the Departments of Civil Engineering, National Taiwan University and National Chenggong University. This is my name in Chinese, Zhong Li Lai. Welcome to the course Introduction to Seismic Design of Structures. This is lecture 12-1. Maximum Consider Seismic Force 1 Maximum Consider Seismic Force is the seismic force corresponding to Maximum Consider Earthquake. Here is terminology Maximum Consider Seismic Force In Chinese, 最大考量地震力 Maximum Consider Seismic Force corresponding to maximum considered earthquake. And the ductility, the ductility capacity can be fully developed. And maximum considered earthquake is an earthquake level with 2% probability of exceedance in 50 years or 2,475 year return period. Compared to design basis seismic force, and design basis seismic force is the seismic force corresponding to design basis earthquake. And only allowable ductility capacity can be developed. Design seismic, design basis earthquake is an earthquake level with 10% probability of exceedance in 50 years or 475 year return period. From seismic design codes, equation 2-16C, uh, maximum considered seismic force is determined by this equation. Vm equal to I, I is the importance factor, divided by 1.4 alpha y, alpha y is the first yielding seismic force amplification factor times SAM, SAM is maximum considered spectral acceleration, divided by FUM, FUM is the maximum considered seismic force reduction factor for structural system due to ductility. And W here is the total weight of the, of the structure. Compared with design basis seismic force, the important factor is the same. Alpha Y, the First yielding, first yielding seismic force amplification factor is the same. W, the total structural weight is the same. But SAM, the maximum considered spectral acceleration, is different from design basis spectral acceleration. FUM, maximum considered seismic force reduction factor for structural system due to ductility, is different from the Design basis one. From seismic design code section 2.8, all the buildings are classified into four categories. In category one, building remain operational for emergency response after earthquakes, like hospital. I, the important factor, I here equal to 1.5. In category two, buildings contain considerable amount of poisonous and explosive substances, such as nuclear power plant, I equal to 1.5. And in category three, the building is used by the public with high occupant density. That's the number of occupants per unit floor area is very high such as department store, the important factors I equal to 1.25. Category 4, in category 4, there are other buildings, like residential building, the important factor I equal to 1.0. Back to the example, a residential building located at Yuishui Township, Hualien County. The question is to find importance factor of the building. Residential building belongs to category 4, others. Therefore, the importance factor of the building is I equal to 1.0. The importance factor equal to 
Maximum consider spectrum for site class 1, 2, or 3. From seismic design codes, table 2-5B, maximum consider spectral acceleration for site class 1, 2, or 3. SAM can be fully described by two parameters. One is SMS, the other is SM1. With these two parameters, T0M is the corner period between short period and medium to long period. T0M equal to SM1 divided by SMS. Once we have T0M, the maximum considered spectrum can be divided into four segments. In the first segment, T is less than the structural vibration period is less than or equal to 0.2 T0M. The maximum considered spectral acceleration increases with the structural period T, increases linearly with the structural vibration period T. When T, the structural vibration period, lies between 0.2 T0M and T0M, the spectral acceleration SAM is constant and equal to SMS. When the structural vibration period lies between T0M and 2.5 T0M, SAM, the maximum considered spectral acceleration, decreases and inversely proportional to the structural vibration period T. SAM equal to SM1 divided by T. When the structural vibration period is larger than or equal to 2.5 T0M, SAM equal to 0.4 SMS is the lower bound for the maximum considered spectral acceleration. T here is the fundamental vibration period of the structure. The unit is S second. The damping ratio of the structure is fixed to be 5%, 0 .00, 0 0.05, so that the maximum spectral, maximum considered spectral acceleration is only a function of, is a function of only structural vibration period T. For Taipei Basin, from the seismic design code table 2-7B, we have the maximum considered spectral acceleration for Taipei Basin, SAM. The maximum considered spectral acceleration for Taipei Basin is also fully described by two parameters. One is SMS, the other is T0M instead of SM1 for site class 1, 2, or 3. Once we have T0M, the maximum considered spectral acceleration can be divided into four segments. In the first segment, from structural Vibration period T equal to 0 to 0 0.2 T, T0M. The spectral acceleration increases linearly with the structural vibration period T. When T, the structural vibration period, lies between 0.2 T0M and T0M, this is constant SAM equal to SMS. In the third segment, when the structural vibration period lies between T0M and 2.5 T0M. SAM decreases inversely proportional to the vibration to the vibration period T. SAM equal to SMS times T0M divided by T. In the fourth segment, the vibration period T is larger than or equal to 2.5 T0M. SAM is a constant. SAM equal to 0.4 SMS is the lower bound for the maximum considered spectral acceleration for Taipei Basin. And T here is the fundamental vibra vibration period, and this unit is S for second. And the damping ratio of the structure is fixed to be 5%, 0.05, so that the maximum considered spectral acceleration is a function of only fundamental vibration period T. And back to the example, so far we have the importance factor I equal to 1.0. A residential building located at Yuishui Township, Hualien County, and within 2 km from Yuli Fort. And the site is classified as hard site, that is class 1. 
The building is reinforced concrete structure with moment resistant frame. It is a two story building with story height 3 meter and the total height of the building is 6 meter. The question is to find maximum considered structural acceleration SAM for the building. From previous lectures, we have already found the uh, vibration period of the structure T equal to 0.268 second. And so far we have the importance of factor I equal to 1.0, T equal to 0.268 second. And from the previous lecture we have MSMS equal to 1.32, SM1 equal to 0.869. From these two parameters, we can calculate T0M, the corner period between short period and medium to long period. T0M equal to SM1 divided by SMS equal to 0 0.658 second. And the structural vibration period here, T equal to 0 0.268, lies between, lies in the first second segment between 0 0.1316 to 0 0.658. Therefore, SAM equal to 1.32. Once we have T0M, the maximum considered spectral acceleration can be div divided into four segments. And from the vibration period of the structure, we can know that where the vibration period, which segment the vibration period lies. In this case, the vibration period lies in, this, in the second segment, Therefore, SAM is a constant, equal to 1.32. Compare with the design basis special acceleration, SAM is larger than SAD. And my question is that, is it always true? Is SAM always larger than SAD? And then back to the example. So far, we have the importance factor I equal to 1.0, the structural vibration period T equal to 0 0.268 second, the maximum considered spectral acceleration SAM equal to 1.32. And then the question is to find the total structural weight of the structure of the building. And the building is a residential building located at Yuishui Township, Hualien County. From previous lecture, we have already found the total structural weight, W, equal to 146.05 ton force. And then from the seismic design code section 2.8, we can determine the first yielding seismic force amplification factor alpha y. Because of the reduction factor here, the maximum considered seismic force has already been reduced by 1.4, reduced by alpha y, reduced by fum. Therefore, under maximum considered seismic force, the structure, the building, remains elastic. And after multiply the maximum considered seismic force by alpha y times, then the first yielding occurs, so that after the maximum considered seismic force is amplified by alpha y times, then first yielding occurs. The amplification factor alpha y depends on the design method and also the loading combination, the load factor of the in the loading combination. For example, if the building is reinforced concrete structure and designed by ultimate strength design method. And the low factor in the loading combination for the seismic force is one. Then alpha y, the first yielding seismic force amplification factor alpha y equal to 1.0. And here's the curve. Describe the force displacement relationship of a building under maximum considers maximum considers earthquake and the force displacement relationship can be can be approximated by elastic 
perfect plastic system. Therefore, we have delta y here is the yielding displacement, and delta u is the ultimate displacement. And here, the maximum considered seismic force has already been has already been reduced by 1.4 by alpha y by f u m. Therefore, the maximum considered seismic force v m here is an elastic force. The elastic force after the elastic force v m is amplified by alpha y. It becomes the yielding seismic force V Y, and after V Y is further amplified by 1.4, it becomes ultimate seismic force. Therefore, V M, the maximum considered seismic force, is an elastic seismic force. When it is multiplied by alpha Y, it becomes yielding seismic force V Y. After further multiplication by 1.4, it becomes the ultimate seismic force, and 1.4 here counts for the redundance of this building and also the strain hardening of the material. And the figure here is taken from Seismic Design Code Figure C2-1. And then back to ex the example. A residential building located at Yuishui Township, Hualien County. The building is reinforced concrete structure. The question is to find first yielding seismic force amplification factor alpha y. So far, we have the importance i equal to 1.0, the maximum considered spectral acceleration SAM equal to 1.32, the total structural weight equal to W equal to 146.05 ton force. The building is reinforced concrete structure designed by ultimate strength design method. And the load factor for the seismic force in loading combination is 1. Therefore, from the seismic design code section 2.9, alpha y, the amplification factor, first yielding seismic force amplification factor alpha y equal to 1.0 and here's the reference seismic design codes of building and is published in 2011 by the Ministry of Interior it can be downloaded from this website and here's the videos for lecture 1 lecture 2 lecture 3 lecture 4 lecture 5 lecture 6 lecture 7 Letter 8, letter 9, letter 10, letter 11, and letter 12. And the current one is this one, the, vid the videos on maximum consider seismic force 1. And uh, the Chinese version has already been uploaded to YouTube. And uh, there will be another videos for maximum consider seismic force 2. And the English one is under preparation. The Chinese one has already been uploaded in YouTube in this website. You are welcome to watch it. And in this lecture, we talk about maximum considered seismic force. And maximum considered seismic force corresponds to maximum considered earthquake. And the ductility capacity can be fully developed. A maximum considered earthquake is an earthquake level with 2% probability of exceedance in 50 years or 2,475 year return period. And compare with design basis seismic force, it corresponds to design basis earthquake and only allowable ductility capacity can be developed. And design basis earthquake is an earthquake level with 10% probability of exceedance in 50 years and 475 year return period. And uh, in this lecture, we have talked about the important factor I and the first yielding amplification factor alpha Y and the weight of the structure W and SAM, the maximum considered spectral, maximum considered spectral acceleration. 
and because maximum consider earthquake compared with design basis uh, design basis earthquake is much more rarer. Only have two percent probability of accidents in fifty years, and the return period is longer, up to two thousand four hundred and seventy five year. Therefore, SAM is larger than SAD. My question is then, in general, in general, the maximum considered special acceleration is larger than the design basis special acceleration. Is it true? Is there any exception? Is it always true? That's my question. That's all for this uh, lecture. Thank you. See you again. Bye bye.